Hello everyone, I am Rushikesh Hulkarni. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about standards and course. Before proceeding further, I want to ask you what you do before playing any game or before any competition. Yes, of course, you set some rules. Before manufacturing any component, company sets some rules or norms by which various characteristics of product that are confirmed. These rules or these obligatory norms are known as standards. For example, if any company is manufacturing engine, then the company sets rule for deciding size of engine, etc. The rules for manufacturing and using the boiler in India is set by Indian Boiler Regulation. So, IBR is the standard for manufacturing and use of boiler in India. Next, I will discuss the types of standards. Standards are classified into three types company standards, national standards and international standard. Company standards are the standards which are nothing but the rules or any obligatory norms by which a product is manufactured in company. The national standard. National standards are nothing but the some set of rules decided by that particular nation. Just like rules for control of traffic in India which is regulated by RTO. Next, various criminal charges which are applied on any accused person in any crime or guilty person in any crime by Indian Penal Code are some examples of standards used in India. And international standards are the standards which are applicable or the some set of rules which are applicable to all those companies which manufactured the products which are accepted or which are used worldwide. This is about the classification of standards. The example of company standard are SKF bearings that is there are certain rules or norms which are made by the SKF company itself for manufacturing of bearing national standards such as BIS, Bureau of Indian Standards, ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers, SAE, Society of Automobile Engineers, etc. International standards are indicated by IS. For example, IS 1570 specifies the chemical composition of various grades for alloy steel. IS 2709 have some set of rules for selection of fit. IS 919 have some set of rules or norms for selection of some limits and fits for any component. Next, codes. Codes are the some set of instructions or specifications used for analysis, design and manufacturing of product. For example, if you use two cars, one is made by Tata Motors and another is made by Honda company, you feel considerable difference between the performance of these two cars. It is because the specifications or instructions which are given by that company for manufacturing or for designing that particular cars. The next example is the cross-sectional dimension of key for various sizes of shaft decided by IS2292. For shaft up to diameter 6 mm, the cross-sectional dimension of the key should be 2 by 2 mm. So this is about the course. Now I will discuss the advantages of standardization. Due to standardization, there is ease in availability of any part or any product. Now as the rules are set up, then the product can be manufactured anywhere in the world and due to that, there is ease in availability of that component worldwide. Next advantage of standardization is the reduction in variation. As there are some set of rules or norms set for various manufacturing processes, therefore there is considerable reduction in the variation and due to reduction in the variation of manufacturing or machining processes, there is a considerable reduction in the scrap of the material. Next, due to standardization, as the sizes are fixed, there is increase in the production rate and which removes any bottlenecks that is any criticality as some specifications are set. Therefore, the manufacturing time gets reduced for manufacturing any component and due to that on time deliveries of products to the customer are possible which increases the customer satisfaction as well as reliability 
and which is used for increasing the business so this is about the standardization and its advantages in my next tutorial i am going to discuss about the preferred numbers which are used for deciding the sizes in the product thank you for watching my video thank you